What's going on guys? It's your boy Boxing Facts with Fiction. I need you to do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification icon for more videos like this. It seems like Bob Aram, who promotes IBF Super Flyweight Champ Juran and Cajas, is pushing hard for his fighter to fight against WBC Tyler's and consensus number one Sarisaket Soran B side. That's a great fight. So it looks like Bob Aram has already sat down with uh, the promoter of Sorung Visai. Uh, and he's trying to stage this fight for either early February or March 2019. Uh, the promoter of Sorung Visai is Tom Loeffler, the same promoter of Gennady Triple G Golovkin, who just got beat up by Canelo Alvarez. Not recently, but beat up twice by Canelo Alvarez. So this fight will most likely happen on ESPN or ESPN Plus. And uh, Top Rank, we all know Top Rank just extended their contract with ESPN. Um, ESPN is a great network, which is going to uh, give the Top Rank fighters an even greater exposure. We remember Terrence Crawford was the first to fight on ESPN Plus, and it was a success. And um, ESPN just gives a broader, more, you know, to the flyweight division is a stacked division, you know. I would like to see all these guys here, all these guys with the belt. First, I'd like to see this unification bout against Soren Visai and Jordan and Kajas. And then I'd like to see them go for an undisputed champion, the winner from that. But uh, flyweight division is a division that a lot of people didn't pay attention to until Roman Gonzalez, Chuck Latito, HBO was pushing really hard. If you don't remember, Roman Gonzalez was just ripping through the flyweight division until he bumped heads with uh, Sorung Visa. Sorung Visa stopped him, knocked him out. You know, he beat him back to back. He destroyed, he destroyed Roman Gonzalez in the second fight. It was a horrible beatdown, knocked him out cold. Despite Sorung Visai record of 47 wins, 4 losses, 1 draw, he has 41 knockouts, which is what we need to take into account, his knockout ratio, the fact that he knocked out almost everybody he fought except 6 of them, it's unbelievable, and 47 wins. That right there tells you he's a fighter. He's a real fighter. But um, he's fought Roman Gonzalez twice, Juan Francisco Estrada, Young Gil Bay, and Aaron Diaz. The guy shows no sign of slowing down, and he remains one of the division's most relentless and entertaining fighters. Juran and Cajas, who is promoted by Bob Aram, who is looked at as the next Manny Pacquiao because of his hand speed and the way he moved. Um, and he's from the same place Manny Pacquiao is from. I mean, he was looking good early on when he defeated McJoe Arroyo for the title in 2016. After that, after he defeated Mick Joe Royal for the title back in 2016, he's been slowing it down. He comes in with a record of 30 wins, one loss, and two draws. He's just fought Alex Santiago. And to be honest, everybody thought he lost that fight, but he was awarded a draw because we all know. He's with top rank, so he was awarded that draw. Um, so who wins this fight? Jorin and Cajas versus this guy. Sorung Visai. Um, that's a tough one, guys. This is a 50-50 fight. I think both fighters are extremely gifted at that weight class. 
But if I had to favor somebody, I may go with Jerwin and Cajas because he's the younger of the two. He's more faster and he looks like he has the better boxing skills and he has the better defense. But if he gets into a brawl with Sorung Visai, he will get his top knocked off. He will get knocked out. He may get knocked out cold, you know. So he has to box him and not brawl him. This guy is a great fighter, you know. Maybe he hasn't trained or maybe he took his few opponents lightly because his last fight against Alex Santiago was a disappointment, you know. It was a disappointment. Everybody was probably expecting a knockout and he went in there and he lost that fight but got awarded a but I'm still going to lean towards Jordan and Cajas if this fight happens. I feel like he has the better boxing skills and he's going to be able to pull this fight off. And if the fight does go to the cards, we all know he wins because he fights on ESPN. And uh, we know the judges are going to be on his side. So if he doesn't get knocked out, he wins this fight. But this is going to be a great fight. I can't wait until it But this is a major fight, man, like I said. So I hope we really get this fight either February or March next year because this is a super fight against two huge aging countries. Um, the Philippines versus Thailand. So we all know this is going to be a huge, huge fight, but it's happening in the United States. So I'm looking forward to it. But both fighters have a mandatory. Um, this guy right here, Sorung Visai, has to defend his title against his WBC scrap against Estrada again. Um, I think he'll beat Estrada again. But um, yeah, he has to defend his title against Estrada. But we all know uh, mandatories. Um, unification trumps mandatories. So, and Jordan Ancaras himself has a mandatory. You know, it hasn't been ordered yet, but he has a mandatory against uh, against another fighter. It's hard to really say these guys' names, but he has a mandatory as well. So they both have some mandatory fights, but um, those fights hasn't been ordered yet. But like I said before. Unification fight trumps those mandatory. So, the, both guys want it, it could happen. Both guys need big fights. They both haven't been fighting the best competition. Um, I think Soren Visa competition wise has been a little bit better than in Cajas. But both guys need this fight to stay relevant, you know, for that goal to unify all the belts at super flyweight which should be every boxer's goal to unify all the belts but Sorung Visai despite him not fighting the best in the division recently has looked the better of the two whereas Encajas has looked horrible in his last fight where everybody thought he lost but he got the draw. Even though that happened, I still was slightly lean toward. I still may sl slightly lean towards Encajas because of his better boxing skills. And uh, Soren Visai only knows one thing, and that's to come forward. You know, so I see uh, Jordan Encajas winning this fight if he boxes beautifully so he beats himself but with that being said with that being said i need you guys to if you don't follow the super flyweight division or the flyweight division I need you guys to follow these guys meaning pay attention to these little guys man chuck latito brung spotlight to these little guys but there's other guys down there that are as good as chuck latito and even better like the guy Soaring Visa who knocked out Chuck Latito. These guys are good. But do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for more videos like that.